Okay, well, we're going to get started with two walls here. I'm going to draw in some guidelines for my base cabinets of 24 inches. And then um, let's go and get uh, the sketch data. Let's get a base corner unit. There's blind corners and diagonal corners. And let's start with a diagonal corner. We'll download it in. Drop it in. We need to move it into position. Which would snap into here. That's my diagonal corner cabinet. Oh, first thing I need to do when you get started is there is a swatch that if you drop this in you don't need to put it in but simply by putting it in we've now created the materials and if I were to regen this one now it takes on the material so every new model coming in will have the uh, the materials uh, assigned to it and then you can just edit the materials and all the cabinets will update outdoor outer material, inner material, door material, things like that. So we'll go back to drop some base cabinets. And um, let's find a one drawer. Let's see. Two door, one drawer. And we'll drop it along this line and then we'll move this in and lock it. We can change its width. So there's the component windows, and now I can change it to be, let's say, 27 wide. So now it shrinks, and the animation works too for the doors and the drawer. Let's go get a drawer base. So I go and I have assigned the collections, the sketch data collections to my favorites. So they're already there and easier to grab. So let's go to get a drawer base. And let's pick a Gonna move that one over. Uh, let's go over 18 inches. Let's go another six. And let's go back and get a base open. Grab a base open. Ooh, actually better off. Let's grab a base this one. I don't know if we'd use this, but and can stretch it or not. That's interesting. So that one I just stretched, but I also could change its attributes. Oops, its attributes is 24 inches wide. I could make it 21 or back to 24. And I need to finish the interior of that cabinet. So now it's a finished interior. Again, and uh, it'll take on the exterior material of the case. And in later videos, I can show you how to edit the materials to uh, get them all to change at one time. Now I want to drop some cabinets along this wall, so to make it easier, I'm going to change my UCS or my coordinate system to go that way. So now when I drop in cabinets, and let's drop in a base one door, I'll drop it on that line. And we'll move it to the edge, and we'll come in four. I need a finished end on there, so I can open up the attributes. And finished end left, yes. And the hinge 
everything is good. And now we can drop in uh, base two door, one drawer. We'll drop that in. And there's snap points to drop into the next one. And once I regen or change an attribute, so either if you have the professional version, you can do a dynamic component to redraw to get it to update to the material, or simply opening it up and, uh, I don't know if just, just even typing the same value over again will make the component redraw itself and take on the materials. And then uh, you can also copy. And you can snap for wherever you want. Snap back here, control, copy it over. Now the only thing to watch out for is that they are the same, they're not unique. So I think if I open the door on one, it opens on both. So a good thing to do is to kind of either make it unique, or once you give it an attribute, let's say I make it 24 wide, it'll uh, it's too narrow, sorry, 27 wide, that will become its own cabinet. And now when we open the doors, it's just unique. It does cause the file to be larger, but sometimes we will especially in custom kitchen design. So we're going to drag this one, snap it to the toe kick. And now we have the base layout. If you want to go in and change the door styles, you could... I don't see any of these are kind of weird, but uh, we could pick these and make your drawer front to be a horizontal grain. So you see how it has a slab front now. This one changed, and then I could pick this one and make it a, the drawer front type, make it a horizontal grain. And so we put, hopefully, when you put grain patterns in, uh, if your material is a grain pattern, then the drawer front would take on a grain pattern that's horizontal. Now on that one, they all went horizontal. If you wanted the lower two to be, let's say they're big enough to be a flat panel, you could pick on individually and say, I want that to be a flat panel. And I want this one to be a flat panel. Um, that's kind of starts, and then I can reset my coordinate system back to normal. And of course, delete my guidelines. And then also, if you don't want to see these reference points, which are the little text, you can turn that layer off. You can also turn off the door layer. And also, if you don't want to see door swings, especially in some views like an isometric, you wouldn't, or perspective, you wouldn't want to see it. But you may want to see them in elevation. You can turn them on and off. And before the video gets too long, I'm going to stop there. Thanks.